Hey everybody. Here we have a now dead hyper power supply. Yes, this one failed. You remember the um, parts computer? Well, no, not, not the parts computer, but the refurbished machine I cleaned out not long ago. This power supply came out of that machine. That computer was sold two years ago, or three years ago. Customer never had any problems on that computer. Not a thing wrong. Power supply is all original. 11 years old as of now. And never had a problem. Even after the customers um, traded in, it was still working at that moment. But yesterday when I went to plug it in, there was a loud, and I mean a seriously loud pop. And you can see a bright light inside the power supply. But there was not that much smoke in it, it didn't stink. Back when the power supply fell in the mid tower deluxe, that was a pretty nasty smell. But this in here is different, much different. Get the right size screwdriver for this thing, if I got it here. These screws are pretty stripped, so I gotta grab a different screwdriver to get them. It's this one here. I can't. I can't stand the screwdrivers aggravating. I call it a suicide screwdriver because screwdriver because it wants to fold up when you trying to mess with screws. That being said, let's get the cover off and see if we can find what has went wrong with this power supply. Now I'm not going to actually tear it apart in this video. I don't feel like tearing apart a power supply today. It's not in the mood for it. But I would like to figure out what actually went wrong inside this thing. And what's funny is I actually took the cover off just before I um, plugged it in back in the machine. I took the cover off and inspected it. Notice there was one slightly bulging cap. And I figured, hey, that capacitor would probably been like that for years. Seeing how old this power supply is and thought nothing much of it. Put the power supply back together. And as soon as I plugged it in, it went pow. I was actually going to test the 5 volt standby circuit for um, overshoot because of the two transistor designs, so the HCX connector was not plugged into the motherboard. So, luckily, no damage was caused to the computer. That being said, let's just go ahead and have a look inside this thing. Let, let you see it. Let's see how this thing's built. And as to be expected with the Hyper, it's built pretty well. Very, very strange failure though. It's like something arced over because I barely had the plug in the socket on the back. And I immediately jerked it out right when it happened. So it didn't have power for long. Though it was a bright arc because you could see a you saw you could see a brief flash when it happened. Anyways, there's the look at the um, AC plug starting of the primary filtering stage. There is the remaining parts of the filtering stage on the PCB. They have two Y caps, two coils, NTC thermistor, two more Y caps, rectifier bridge, that kind of stuff. Look at the primary side, everything looks fine here. You get your primary caps, and this power supply has surge protection with MOVs. Here's a little add on board. Like I said, I'm just looking closely at this thing to see if I can find any sort of telltale sign. I have to be honest with you, a very strange failure. And I don't think I want to plug it back in and see what else it's going to do. Because there's really no telling. If you have a look at the secondary side, this is a 250 watt power supply. The middle secondary rectifier, let me give you some focus back. The middle secondary rectifier is a 30 amp component, just to give you an idea. 
about how these things are built, how well they're built. I can't tell what the other one is. You see the left one's 5 volt, middle one is appears to be 12 volts and the one on the far left the orange wires are 3.3 .3. not sure if it's lined up from here to the outputs though but yeah fairly well built power supply I have to be honest which is a very strange kind of failure we have two <laughs> Two rectifiers for not sure which rail. Might be the 12, might be the 5, might be the 3.3, not really sure. Got one on this side of heat sink and one on this side of heat sink. And being honest with you, this thing is built like a tank. It's real funny with me, the better built power supplies have been the ones that have failed. But the cheap ones just keep right on working. Very, very strange. Yeah, so this video might be a little boring because I cannot find what has failed in this power supply. And one would think, with a bright arc inside the thing, something had to have burnt. I mean, there was smoke coming out of this thing. But the strange thing is, what it was, it didn't stink. I don't see any actual, actually blown caps. I see a couple of bulging caps, or one bulging cap, and it's slightly bulging. Not very bad. Very, very, very strange. Look here on this add-on board. Still don't see anything. All those caps look fine. Spin back around again. But I am thinking, it, I, I am starting to wonder about that glue. Because forms like bag caps have stated that the yellow glue, once he gets to it, it can turn brown and become conductive. And I'm wondering if maybe an electrical arc traced across the glue. That's all I can think. What's funny about power supplies, they can fail when you least expect them to. That's a very strange thing. Apparently this thing had a lot of dust in it because even after going with it, going it, with it pretty hard with the air compressor, there's still some dust on that um, 5 volt standby transformer. Anyways, um, yeah, very strange. Before I wrap this up, let me go and show you the spec label so you don't miss that. There's your specs. 250 watt power supply and I'm sure these ratings are actually underrated for this unit the newer hypro supplies like what's in um, let's see the 2005 or so Dells those are practically 300 watt power supplies I actually replaced a 300 watt unit in the e-machine system um, socket AM2 system with one of the Dell 250's hypro units and it runs like a champ Fan never even cranks up or anything. It just runs it, no problem at all. But there, your, there's your spec label. So anyways, very strange kind of failure. I guess I'll be parting this thing out sometime or, or another. Not really sure when. Don't feel like doing it today. Then again, there's not really, I mean, the silicon on the secondary and primary side, or mainly the secondary side, is something I could use. But, of course, all the caps are pretty much junk, the TPO caps are. And what's strange is, a while back I noticed on YouTube, I think it's either, I think it's UXW Bill. I think it's his channel. He had a Dell with the 200 watt hyper power supply. Had a similar kind of failure. Just a very loud bang, and that was it. You couldn't really find a, couldn't really find the source of failure, or it's from what I remember. But yeah, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.